I guess I'll just do the intro first, get it out of the way. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Jacob from Perfect Circuit, and today you're gonna wanna get your laser pointers ready because we're playing with the cat. Perfect. Oh my God. Why didn't we think of that? We thought it would be super fun to throw together a free sample pack of sounds made with the cat that you can throw into your DAWs and samplers to use in projects of your own. Keep watching the rest of this video to see how we made some of the sounds in the sample pack. And if you're interested to see more about the history or the sonic architecture of the cat, check out the link to my Signal article in the description below. Um, I guess sounds. So to kick off our fun sampling party, let's start with a bass line sound. So when you're sampling a more melodic sound like this, I find it's really effective to approach it by sampling every minor third instead of capturing every note chromatically. So instead of playing every note in succession like this, playing one note every three keys will save you a lot of time and effort. This will save you some RAM and processing power on your computer or sampler and it'll also reduce some artifacts that get introduced when you pitch shift one sound all across a keyboard. All right. Kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. I personally really like making kick drums out of sine waves. And although the cat doesn't directly offer us a sine wave on any of its oscillators here, we can simply turn up the resonance on the filter and apply modulation from one of our envelope generators onto the self-oscillating filter to get a really fat kick drum sound. We can easily make this a bit more nasty and gnarly by blending in any of the oscillators as well. Maybe like a snare sound now. Yeah. Meow, yeah, when it comes to snare drum, <laughs> I can't even do that seriously. Meow, yeah, when it comes to snare drums, some people prefer to just use pure noise as the basis for their sound, and other people like to blend in oscillators to get kind of a tonal thing going on with it too. We're gonna try a little bit of both today. And then cue in me dialing in a sound, and then cue in me dialing in a different sound. Yeah. Meow, yeah, let's see, what else could we make today? I guess some like hi-hat sounds would be good. So this will be interesting because there's not a high pass filter. So might have to use the oscillators tuned really high and blend in a little bit of the noise. Let's see what happens, I don't know. That was, that was quick. Let's try blending in the oscillators too to kind of see 
how we can shape it a little further. I, I like what we got from that. Okay. That's yeah. that's cool. Um, does it do like FM? I guess that's that's something that would be worth talking about. As with a lot of cool synthesizers, you can get a lot of cool, really awesome sounds by experimenting with specifically having one oscillator modulate the frequency of the other. You can do this pretty easily on the cat. I like to turn off VCO1's audio input into the filter so that we're only listening to VCO2. Now if you turn up the modulation knob and have it set to VCO1, at first you're not going to hear a difference in the sound until you start turning up the sliders for VCO1. You can blend in the LFO at high rates too, or at low rates to kind of get different things going on. <laughs> Extending the concept of FM further, Something that's really super cool about the CAT is that you can actually cross-modulate both of the oscillators. So when you're doing frequency modulation, you typically have one oscillator modulating the other. But on the CAT, you can do cool things by having one oscillator modulate the other oscillator, modulating the oscillator, and it just goes back and forth into an endless chaotic loop of mush. Nice. I mean, you can never have too many low gurgly bubbly sounds. Listen to that cat purr. Oh God. That one is like 60 cycle hum plus weird chirpy sound. <laughs> So before we wrap up today, I thought it would be pretty fun to try running some external audio into the cat. And what better sound source to use than a real cat. <laughs> so I'm running samples of a cat meowing from my computer here into the Unison from Second Sound, which is super capable as an audio controlled synthesizer, but we're just using the pitch and envelope outputs going into the filter and VCO control inputs on the back of the cat. And we're processing the sound of the meow through the filter while blending in some of the oscillators too. Here's what it sounds like running a meow into the cat without any additional processing or modulation.
Thanks for hanging out with us while we made some cool cat sounds today. If you found this video interesting, let us know if there are some other instruments you'd like for us to sample, or if you're interested in seeing more about the actual process of sampling. Hopefully some of the techniques we showed off in this video will give you some ideas to make some persuasive sounds on any synthesizer. And of course, if you make some cool tracks with our sample pack, feel free to tag us on Instagram to show us what you're doing. Claw the like button.